ku mwenyezi amenifanya jinsi nilivyo pumzi yako hai wangu umefufua mifupa mikavu mbaki umenipa baba yangu umetuliza dhuruba wakati wa mawimbi moyo wangu na ukuinue kila wakati nafsi yangu ikuhimidi kila saa moyo wangu your name this morning and we pray the Lord that in this year 2021 that our desire is to please you 
And I pray, King of glory, that every one of us and everyone who comes and they worship you as sons and daughters of his ministry will enjoy fellowshipping with you, Lord. And I pray that, Lord, your presence will go with us all the way. We love you and we honor you. This, Lord, is our prayer today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Wow, praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor and welcome him to the house of the Lord, the year 2021. Mupatiri yetu hivi, tu hile ya mkono tu on your right and on your left. Wala suwe sana. Glory be to the Lord, God Almighty, in Jesus' name. Are you happy? Are you blessed? For those I have not seen since the year began, I want to say Happy New Year. Kuna watu nangoja July, takutana na ono ambi Happy New Year. Glory be to God. Let's appreciate the great worship team we are. God bless you. Thank you so much. Please take your seat. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something about ministry. The sweetness of ministry is that there is no trouble that can be heavier than the voice of God. Amen. And there is nothing as sweet as knowing that God can trust you with the secrets. Amen. And so, don't look at the th troubles and the things pastors up country na nini walipitia. Just see yourself being a custodian of God's secret. God's power. Representing God. Imagine reading a speech on behalf of God. And then you conclude by saying, that says God Almighty. You know the Bible says the harvest is ready. But the laborers are few. I pray that you find your place in this vineyard. Amen. I pray if you are a singer, find your place in the singing. If you are a preacher, if you are called to start a church, find your place in that place in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never grow until you locate your place in ministry. So pray for yourself. Say, Lord, I pray that I may locate my place in the vineyard. Pray for yourself one, two, three minutes. Pray that you locate a place in your vineyard. Pray in the name of Jesus that you get to know that corner. That you get to know that place that God has called you to serve. Some of us, God has called you and he says, I have called you to supply in my kingdom. And your work is to supply. And God calls you a supplier. You may not see anything to supply now, like the woman of Sarephath, but God calls you a supplier. I pray that you open your mouth and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive that which you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Find your place in the kingdom. Psalms um, 10, 81, 10. The Bible says, I am the Lord your God. Praise the Lord. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. When God is saying, I am the Lord, you are God. Number one, remember the Bible says, I am the Lord, you are God. You shall have no other God besides me. Is it so? If you must worship, worship me. And no other God besides me. Look at your neighbor and say, worship God. And no other God. Why? Because there are many other gods to be worshipped. There was a God called Baal and he was worshipped. Do you remember that story? I think in the second, uh, first Kings 17, he was worshipped the whole day. And the man of God, Elijah, was there, taunting them. And he was saying, worship him. Lift your voices. Inawezekana, mungu wao asiki, wano yu sana. Alafu unajua when you are settled on your God, alafu anachega sema, maybe he is daydreaming. And I think una vitu wa hiku elezwa. Maybe he is in the washroom. You know, kenjeri ni kenjeri. But then God is saying, I am the Lord your God. There was a king. I think it's either Jeroboam or Rehoboam, one of them. The Bible says, when he saw that the people and a commitment to the house of God in Jerusalem, he went and made two calves. One he put in a place called Bethel and another one in a place called Dan. And the Bible says, he sent to them, 
Going to Jerusalem is far. Here are your gods that delivered you from Egypt. Come and worship. So the men, I mean the people went to Dan and others went to Bethel and the king purported to care for them. Kuapunguzia mafuta, kuapunguzia time, na kwanini uchoke. Now, they worship that God and God was not happy. This, the Bible says, I am the Lord, your God. I'm not an angel. I am God who performed great miracles. When you hear God who, who brought you out of Egypt, then you go further and you see a number of things. Number one, he heard their cry. The Bible says, the cry of my people has come to me. The cry of my people. This God hears our cry. This God, when we call upon him, he answers. Glory be to God. Look at your neighbor say, this God. Tell your neighbor, this God. When I cry, our cry go to him, he hears. When our prayers go to him, he answers. This God. I love this God. Wow. You know, at some point, the Bible also says, the Egyptian saint, the God of the Hebrew, fight for them. This God. This God gave mothers the strength to give birth, even without the help of midwives. This God, the Bible records. Glory be to God. This God, and they put them there for 430 years, and they preserved them. This God preserves. Tell your neighbor, this God preserves. Imagine in a foreign land as slaves, and you are preserved. He is a God who preserves. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will preserve you in the year 2021. Lift your hand and say, my God will preserve me. It is to say that even if things go wrong, this God will preserve us. He preserved the children of Israel 430 years. So powerfully that when there was storm in the land, God made sure that Goshen, where they were, he preserved them. This is a powerful God. This God brought them out of Egypt. This God has plans. He had a deliverance plan. How to deliver these people. And he made sure that a deliverer was born. His name was Moses. And Moses was not destroyed. Because God preserves. Hallelujah. Imagine. All children below two years were killed. But God preserved Moses. How was he preserved? In an extraordinary way. The boy was put in the waters. And the Bible says he was just floating. And God made the Pharaoh's daughter to go take a bath. And as she was taking the bath, she noted a floating basket. When she noted the basket, went near and found a baby. And when look at the baby, the boy was handsome. Glory be to God. Then carrying the baby to the palace. And the boy was raised in the palace. And they trained the palace. And the Bible says, Moses was learning. He knew the wisdom and the literature of Egyptians. This is how our God works. Hey, lift your hand and say, I am your God. The Lord your God is in that path. When he says that, he is telling them, don't just see a God who took you in Egypt because it was out of your disobedience. But also, I am that God who knows how to preserve generations. Glory be to God. This God, even when you have gone astray, he still says, you are my son. This God is loving. That he follows us with a lot of compassion. Let me tell you, the God we serve is a God full of compassion. If it is not God, Marianne, some of us will not be here. If God judges us the way we are supposed to be judged by people, we will not be standing here today. But thank God, he is merciful. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of Egypt. This God is never in a hurry to do things. He does things in his time. Can you hear this? He's not in a hurry. You may say, God, 
Is it the time you are coming to deliver us? He says, I know the time. But you see, all of us must agree that we must follow the calendar of God. Some of us gave up because he never came at your timing. He comes at his time. Lift your hand and say, may I never miss the timing of God. Some people are too bitter to believe in him. But this God delivered them out of Egypt. The Bible says, this God, when the time came for the children of God to be delivered, he started working out miracles, extraordinary miracles. And I will tell you a few miracles that to know that makes me know, number one, this God is powerful. One, that God did supernatural things through Moses. And the same way we read in Acts chapter 19 that God did extraordinary things through Paul. In other words, this God works with men. Did you hear that? Note that. The God of Israel, this God works with men. Are you a man? The Bible says Elijah was a man like us. What happened? He prayed and God heard him. God works with men. Are you a man? God will use you. When I say man, even women are there. Lift your hand and say, I am a man like Elijah. When I call upon him, you he hear me. God introduces himself here. He says, I am the God, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. What do I know about this God? He uses what you have in your hands. This God. He asked Moses, Moses, what do you have? And Moses said, I have. A rod. Don't despise what you have. This year, God is willing to use what you have. Ask your neighbor what you have. Moses and Aaron, and God said, I'll use it. In this year, allow the Lord our God to touch what belongs to you. When he touches what belongs to you, stop being ordinary and it becomes extraordinary. Moses, what do you have? And he said, I have a rod. When he dropped it down, the Bible says, it became a snake. And Moses ran away from it. What you used to hold, when you release it to God, it becomes an extraordinary tool for God to use. When God uses your money, and you call it God's money, then that time, it starts working extraordinary things. May God touch what belongs to you. Then God said, hold it by the tail. And became the rod. From that day, it was called the rod of God. Can you imagine? When God touches what is yours, then it stops being yours and becomes God. Then your children stop being, they only use your name, amen, but they are gods. Because you can't take care of them. When God explains how, who he is, he is saying so many things that when the time came, he sent the children of Israel, now pack and go. He paid them for the years they served in Egypt. The Bible says, he said, go to the Egyptians and tell them to give them gold. And they were given gold. And the Bible says, they plundered Egypt. They looted Egypt. They carried wealth. In other words, we never serve this God in vain. This God does not allow us to serve him in vain. He pays. Look at your neighbor and say, this God it wants. He pays. This God, he caused calamity and the pestilence. That so many things happened in the whole of Egypt. But where the children of God were, the Bible says they, they were not affected. This God knows how to preserve his own. I love God. That there is calamity, but he preserved his own. And God has preserved us. And God will preserve you. And God is faithful to keep you alive in the name of Jesus Christ. God will preserve you. He preserves. Now the Bible also says, he did so many miracles. Then one miracle was needed for the children of God to be released. Pharaoh said, when one miracle was done, he called his witch, uh, witches. Wakifanya mujiza ya nyoka, wanaitua. Wanasema chomweni kitu. Wanangusha tumiti. Tunatoa nyoka. Wanasema ah, mungu nini. You know, where counterfeit is supposed to make what is original powerless. 
Are you getting that? It's just to show there's nothing, nothing, nothing big. That's why you hear people say, oh, there is nothing big in being in church. There is something big there. Church is not a club. Church is where spiritual transactions take place. Glory be to God. So I, I have not been praying and I've, I've, I've been okay. No. You may be okay for some time. I told you some of us are living on borrowed credit. Ya mama zetu na baba zetu. Maombi baba yako alikuombea. Ndiyo mekua kuhithidro. Sema oh siombi na hakuna kitu inafanyika. Ni maombi ya nyanya yako. Na baba yako. Ngoja tu. Utafinya tu hivi uambiwe insufficient funds. Ndiyo utagundua. Sasa mambo diyo nanzanga kufuatana. Unanza kusema oh. Apostle Ana Nema. Ana Nema na mnagani. Kira wakati kwa liisi kwa eti yemi ya maombi. Ujawai deposit. Tunasema omba uombi. Wewe. Ndelea kutoa tu. Yemi isi jafas. Mwaka una hakuna kitu. Wewe ndelea uka hivo. Utakuta in sufficient fund. Ndelea tu. Wewe mama yako ni mulevi. Baba yako ni mulevi. <laughs> Au kuombewa na mutu. Na unaishi kama mutu ya lizariwa na wakristo. Wakikataa kuomba uombi. Wakikataa kutoa utoi. Ati ye, my friend, kuna watu wanakula bonga point za wazazi. Wewe, wewe ndiye wakuanza kuwoka kwenu. Na unarega rega. Kwenu weta unasemanga buwana asifiwe, watu wanashindwa wakira watasema. Awajui kujibu. Na, una, na unatembea ukiongea against the man of God. <laughs> Wakati kamulango katafunguliwa kame kuelekeza, utanitafuta. Aposa yuko? <laughs> Hii mambo na wambia, kujeni tuombe. Bwana zue sana. Kujeni tuombe. Wenji muwage hapa mbele ya mungu. Some of us were just scooped like a, like a number from the fire. Yani tu mungu alituondoa tu kabla tujachomeka. Amen. Ukatoka tu hivi. And then miaka mbili umeanza kusema oh afadhali wakati sikuwa nimeokoka. My friend, ingia maombi yomba. We lala hapa kanisani ukiomba. Wewe una una mtu ana alikuombea. You know, we need to see some things here. I'm telling you the truth. Because some of us, some people are lost by people without knowing. Mutu yeye kwao, grandfather, grandmother, walikuwa meokoka na niwaze wa kanisa. Walishi maombi. Hata hiyo maombi ulikuwa na dharau, ilikuwa inasikika na mungu. Sisi diyo tunafikirianga kuna maombi mungu wa siki, zababu ya volume. Kuna vile watu wa naombanga na mungu. Bwana zue sana. You know what, church? Let us change our, our perspective in this year. Amen? Let us pray. When it is time to pray, let us pray. Don't compare yourself with other people. Kuna kijana moja tukiwa shule, we decided to go on strike. We never forgotten that. Him alone, akakamua, other strike. For two reasons. Number one, an and a strike and a wapi. Yeye kwao, they were in a single room, room, I think six of them. They sleep in turns. Kemani joroge fulani na fulani, mbaka saa sita muamushwe. Mbaka, na wakuenda hakuna. Sasa hapa hako na kitanda yake. Kwa nyumba yao, haina matris, na munataka kustrike. Chakula kwao ni mungiza, na munataka strike. Alisema strike. Tuka strike, tuka fukuzwa zote, haka kwa mwalimu, mimi siku strike na siyendi nyumbani. Haka pewa kazi ya kuchunga ngombe huko shule, ni afadhali. Tukicheka hakuwa na cheka. Nyinyi muko na kwa kuenda, mimi sina. Wakati unaona watu wanakuwa wajeuri na kustrike, strike ya mungu hivi, we, don't strike with them. Wawo wako na mari kwa kuenda. Nyanya yao likuwa muombaji, babu yao likuwa muombaji. Mama yao likuwa muombaji, hata sayi ni muombaji. Babu, baba ni muombaji. Alafu na ye, ye ndi ya huku, akifanya strike. Strike. Tusiimbe, tusiende church, tusiombe, we kula chakula hiko. My friend, 
we, we first. We unajua. When the magicians and they tried to do the miracles, the counterfeits of what Moses did, finally, there was a miracle, a mother of all miracles. One of the sons. This involved the blood. And the Lord said, In the city ya wangu, mutamchinja mwanya kodo, mchukwendamu, mpake kwa milango yenu. Why? Because tonight, the angel of the Lord is passing by and you kill firstborn. Very selective. In the houses where there will be no blood. I love God. This God has mercy when he sees the blood. This God, when he sees the blood, he has mercy. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God will see the blood of his son Jesus in your life in this year. Glory be to God. When he came and he saw the blood, the Bible says, he passed over the houses where there was blood. That is what the word Passover means. He passed over. He never entered. He passed over. Glory be to God. I pray that there will be a Passover in your life. I pray that there will be a Passover in your life. Say amen. amen. This God, the Bible says, he entered every house. Even the house of a king. I love this. That this God can never be hindered by anyone. Akuna kufuri, akuna mulango, inaweza zuia mungu kuingia andani. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God will enter palace on your behalf to release something for you in the name of Jesus Christ. When he entered there, the Bible says in the morning, Pharaoh said, hey, News in a sema, mutot watoto water, fastborn, why Egyptians, wa meiwawa, kasema acheni, wana wa Israeli, wind, and they release them. I am the Lord your God. Along the way, wakafika wakafika, say, ay, laki tu mwachiri ya ibo na mnagani. Ni kusema sisi tuende tukasifanya kazi waliokuwa nafanya, apana, run after them. Iseta nami, to run after them. And see what God did. He followed the army and he unscrewed the wheels of their chariot. And the Bible says they looked and they said the finger of God is against us. And I pray in the name of Jesus that this God will fight the enemy that pursues you in the year 2021. This God is going to pursue your enemy. Lift your hand and say, Lord God Almighty will pursue my enemy in Jesus' name. So follow his voice. As you follow his voice, the enemy may follow, but God will pursue them on your behalf. Then they go to Red Sea. When they go to Red Sea, Moses started crying to him. And he saw the water. And look back, he saw the army coming. And he began to cry to God. And God said, Moses, what are you doing here? And he said, lift your rod, strike the waters. And there was a road on the sea. The God of Israel made the road in the sea. The Bible says, when they cross the army of Egypt, trying to use the same path, and they were all drowned. And remember the song of Moses. Hallelujah. Pharaoh, na manjeshi wake, wa mebebo na maji. Do you remember the song? Listen to me, church. This year, God is also giving you a song. God is giving you a song. This year, prepare to sing. Glory be to God. We will sing that Pharaoh and his army and their horses are drowned in the Red Sea. God, the, the Lord, you are God. Praise the name of the Lord. This God, when they crossed and they looked back and they saw the miracle, extraordinary miracle. Do you remember that? Extraordinary. How extraordinary? There is no one who has ever spoken, spirit in the sea, like this God did. This God is doing extraordinary things. The Bible says, when they walked through, they found themselves in the wilderness. In this wilderness, there was no food, there was no water. He gave them water from the stone. And I pray in the name of Jesus that God will refresh you from unfamiliar sources. Did you hear that? God will refresh you. 
from places, from people you never believed that God can use. I pray in the name of Jesus that in the year 2021 that God will refresh you in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they found themselves in the same wilderness. There is no food. And God provided manna from heaven. God will provide for you from heaven. He is going to give you resources, food, from a place you never expected. And that's why he says, I'm the Lord your God. Open your mouth and I will fail it. Because you know I fend you in the wilderness. I did not need a chef. I fend you. Bread from heaven. When you saw the bread, you said, wow, manna. In other words, what is this? Extraordinary. We have never seen this before. I pray in the name of Jesus that the year 2021, God will provide to you supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ. So supernatural that you'll say, wow, manna, what is this? I've never seen it this way. I have never seen it before. I thought it takes 70 years to do this. It has taken me just two years. In this year, 2021, may the Lord do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand before God. Say, Father, I can trust you to provide. Lord, I trust you to provide for me, for my family, for my generation in the year 2021. Do supernatural things, extraordinary miracles in my life in the name of Jesus. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt. Where these people thought you shall be slave forever. I brought you out of hell. Where you worked for a man and you was never thankful. I brought you out of our place. I'm the Lord your God. Where you thought you will not be paid dividend for what you did. I paid you because I'm the Lord your God. Where you thought you will die here. I preserved you because I am the Lord your God. I pray in the name of Jesus that this be your portion in the year 2021. This God, the Bible says, they came. They found snakes in the wilderness. And they were beaten. And some people died. And Moses, the Lord spoke to him. He said, make a bronze snake and they put it on a pole. That whoever will be beaten and they look at the snake shall be healed. This God demands our obedience. Follow instructions in the year 2021. Simple instruction like look upon the pole. Simple instruction. But some people died bitter with the God. Kwanini hakuwa nyoka. Listen, it is not your way. It is his way. Glory be to God. Simple instruction in the year 2021 can save your life from death. Just look upon the snake. The Bible says, as Moses lifted the broad snake in the wilderness, so shall the man of God be lifted. And I pray that in this year, we shall also leave the Lord Jesus Christ. That we will be able to see him and see our, our answer to our problems through the name of Jesus Christ. Lift Jesus high, see him lifted high, and he say, Father, thank you for Jesus. He is my answer to my problems in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the Lord your God who gave you that son. Are we together, church? Listen now. After that, they still came through. They were given remedy for sicknesses. They were sick, they were healed. They were provided for. The Bible says the clothes they wore never got on. And the shoes they were in never worn out. All this because of the, um, the power of God to preserve them. Then the Bible says. Then they came. Wow. Binadam. They said, ah, we have eaten bread all this time. Can't we have something chewable? Kitumeno inaskia. Not minced meat, real meat. <laughs> wow. Iki mkate, iki mkate. Hata kama daktari nutrition rate wamepima wasema iko balance, lakini meno inataka kitu inatafuna. Chewable. Hiyo ndio upaya wa binadamu. Kitu nasikia umerusha kwa mdomo. Na Mungu wangu anakasirika na wao. Alisema wewe lete sahani. Wewe weka yako nitanjaza. 
kulingana na kiwango yako the bible also says that when these people had been provided for by god they go to a place and they start then to complain this god does not like people who mama as we walk with this god choose not to complain he has done so much for us imagine they complained i am the lord your god remember he is saying that they complained and after complaining they go to a place and the lord decided to give them enough meat they ate and many of them died there this god and then the bible says he walked with them along the journey then they sinned against him and he was not happy and he decided to wipe out the whole generation this god is a god who hates sin he is a holy god as we talk about the lord god of israel is a holy god tell your neighbor he is a holy god let us serve him in holiness. Let us serve him in the purity of our heart. Let us serve him and we are in a way that we are able to say no, God does not love this. It is seen before him. As we serve the God of Israel, this is a holy God. The Bible says, be holy for your God is holy. Glory be to God. And I pray in the name of Jesus in the year 2021, we shall worship him in his holiness. Oh, I'm the Lord God. I'm the Lord, your God, who brought you out of Egypt. When everyone and said, you'll not leave, I brought you. Why? Because I had a promise with Abraham, I shall come and pick you out of this place. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God will do something for you this year. Because he never breaks his promises. Glory be to God. Can we all wave to God and say, Lord, you are faithful. Oh, I love the song that you are faithful. You never leave us halfway. You are faithful, God. You love us. You never abandon us. He is faithful. This God is a faithful God. Glory be to God. Then the Bible says, finally, they came and they were in a place where they could see the land. And Moses sent 12 men and said, go see the land. They went, they spied the land. They came with the fruits of the land. They said to Moses, Moses, the land is there. The land is good. The soil is perfect. But there is a problem. The people who live there are giants. The walls are fortified. When we compare ourselves to them, we are like grasshoppers. We can never fight them. The people cried and they mourned and they said, why did you bring us all this far to destroy us in this place? Two men stood up, Joshua and Caleb. They said, listen, oh, you people of Israel, the people, is true, they are huge, but our God is faithful to take us through. We shall defeat them, not because of their size and our size, but because of the size of our God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we don't look at the problem, but we look at God. This God is faithful to do it for us. And I pray in the name of Jesus, we will not look at the account and the money we have. Let us look at the account of God in the year 2021. You shall do mighty things if you look upon the Lord. You shall achieve more if you look upon the Lord. I pray that you tune your ears and your eyes to see God. Glory be to God. Then God said, Moses, these people, they disobeyed me. These people have refused to trust in me. I will kill them. And Moses knelt before him and he prayed. And it deceded before God. I know that scripture, we use it a lot, especially when we are teaching intercession. But in my theological interpretation, it is not the best scripture to use when you are teaching intercessors. Intercession must flow in the will of God. Are you getting that? Intercession is not giving God counsel. It is not advising God. Uh-uh. That is not intercession. God said, Moses, these people, mimi na wewe, tumewatoa 
Misri tumekuja hivi tumewafikisha hapa tumewaonyesha kule wanaenda they have rebelled simple instructions i will finish them and moses knelt before him he said father if you have to kill them then it my name from the book of life number 2 yani game gone conditions and we tell intercessors that is how to intercede for the people no it is not how do i know god did not god did not stop what he intended he killed all of them including moses if you want to die as an intercessor and devise god what god did he postponed death for them amen then he said one by one you fall dumb 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 two only two when come out of egypt joshua and caleb even moses died and you know what he said because i told you to speak to the stone and you struck it simple instruction kuzoea mungu ulipiga rend si ukafikiri kila kitu ni akupiga ah ah skiza instruction kuna kupiga na kuongeresha am i speaking somebody here with this god even as we intercede for the people we intercede not for god to change his mind but for people to flow in the will of god if you are interceding intercede that people may follow the will of god why because god will never change the bible says i am not man to change when i say something i follow it pray that people will change from their wicked ways and they turn to god that way you will have saved them but not by advising god and advise people tell them this god is a righteous god tell them this god wants you to walk in the right ways and let me tell you ukiona kile kilifanya musa akose kufika mireani ni kidogo sana kidogo kugonga mawe mawe ayongei mawe isiki uchungu kuigonga tu hiyo hiyo tumekosana na we Musa why because Moses you should know who i am when i say something stop looking for human ways of doing it do it my way stop showing me there are things i do not know i know it stop think apostle you care more about your people than i do i care more please this god is a holy god lift your hand say this god is a holy god and we must serve him in holiness then having said this having described who he was because now we can see who this god is can't you see him can you see the power can you see how glorious this god is can you see how powerful he is by his hand he delivered them the miracles he has done now he says open wide your mouth and i will fill it this god has now said who he is that he is the healer he is the provider he refreshes his people he preserves generations he was with abraham he was with moses he is the one who sent joseph there in advance he is then he says now open your mouth will you not open and then he says i will put words i will feed you i will fill it with words Let, let's read the book of uh, jeremiah <laughs> chapter 1 and then we finish there verses 9 Glory be to God. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 9. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and he said to me. Are you seeing this? Then the Lord reached out his hand, come sir. And he did not do much. He is the Lord. He just reached and touched his mouth. After that, The Bible says by touching you now I have put put ones in your mouth. Maneno inakangwa na mkono. Let me ask you, maneno inakangwa na mkono? Kuna maneno umeona nimekaa mtu. But what is the Lord saying? Extraordinary things are done by God. Maneno inaweza wekwa na mkono. It is a supernatural and extraordinary way of doing things. Now I have put ones in your mouth verse 10 20 sorry see today tell your neighbor today 
I appoint you over nations and the kingdoms. Listen to me, church. We must now move beyond a location called Kayole and see nations and see kingdoms. Ah, uh, did you hear that? Then why didn't you say an amen if you heard it? See, today that I appoint you over nations and the kingdoms. Say nations and the kingdom. Hey, say nations and the kingdoms. Do you know what that means, Brother Joroge? Don't see a variant. See a nation. Don't see a county. See a nation. Am I explaining somebody? The Bible says, ask of anything and I will give to you. Ask of nations and I will give them to you. Nations. One of the Let's build our capacity and move from a location to a nation. Hallelujah. Let's be all, go beyond a village, a place called Kayole, and see nations. And when you see nations, you don't see members, you see citizens. Hallelujah. So you don't fight over members. You know, wow, they are citizens. And there are things as a nation leader you never think about. Because he knows, wanaichi lazima waonge. We panda tu. Wacha kupika na vita ya watu kidogo kidogo. Rise. Come out of your village and see a nation. Bwana isiwe sana. The wealth of nation I will give to you. Ukipewa ya village itakusumbua. Maana kuna vinjinji utajiri wao ni uchawi. Mzee mmoja alinunua uchawi, huyo mwingine naye akasema huta niloka akanunua yake. Ka kijiji kamejaa uchawi. Ukipewa wako katakutesa. Muchawi muzee, muchawi mdogo. Muchawi mwanamuke, muchawi msichana. Hiyo yote. But nations, the Lord is saying, open your mind, open your eyes, see beyond. Bandala ya kupigania, tuvitu kidogo, tuwa kijinji, ona mungu, akikupatia inchi muzima. Na si Kenya tu, nations. Glory be to God. Lift your hand and say, Lord, give me nations. Hey, say like you believe it. God, give me nations. So he says, the word I give to you, I have appointed you over nations and the kingdoms. The Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of God and he can take him in any direction. So the Lord is saying, I have also given you the power. If I've given you the kingdom, I've given you the king. That's why we can make a ruling in Kayole here and it affect nations in Jesus' name. Why? Because they have been given to us. We can make a ruling here and the kingdoms are lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. So what do you do with this one? A fruit and a tear down. Tell your neighbor a fruit and tear down. Hey, say, hey, say, a fruit and a tear down. Listen to me, church. That's why I began last week by saying that God will anoint someone with the anointing of warfare. This year, we have to uproot and tear down. If you are too merciful to destroy or to uproot, now change yourself. Because there is no way you're going to fade with the mouth, I mean with the word in your mouth, to uproot and you are saying it to plant. God wants us to deal with some things. One as your son. God wants you to deal with some. There are things in your family you have to now deal with seriously because unless they come down, there will be a problem. Hallelujah. Some of us, you are in the city and the people are dying in witchcraft. You rise, you raise a horn in the name of Jesus Christ. Ukichomoka tu hivi. Wanajua umekuja in the spirit. Why? Because God has put a wand in your mouth. There are things now we must see beyond because there are children who are ordained for nations that the devil decided haka akatoki. That's why Moses was preserved. One of his son. And may God preserve our children. He says, uproot and a tear down. There are things this year we must uproot because we know what causes all this. Na hii 
ililetwa na aidha mzazi ama kijana ama mtu aliyetembea akaja na miungu mingine akasema tuliona miungu ambayo isumbui kukinyesha unamubeba unamweka mahali kwa giza kwa kuna akunyeshi mungu light akuli nyama mingi <laughs> bwana sasa sana huu mungu ni mzuri huu mungu ni mzuri sababu akuli nyama mingi kama huyo mungu wa wa israeli aitiji sacrifice mingi kama huyo mungu wa wa israeli na mbuna muona si kama huyo anaongelesha anga Musa peke yake huu mbuna muona bwana sio sana na huu mungu pia ni mzuri sababu tuseme kama ukienda kulala na unaogopa unalala na yeye hapo na unamuona huyu wenu wa Israeli mwai muona eh hey, tunasikianga na kujanga mlimani we mwai muona hapana when those those gods start demanding sasa ni wasema huu oh, hii tuitie Mungu wa Musa sasa Mungu wa Musa ile siku wako kama Mungu kenu katavunjika shingo ndio mtajua huyu Mungu wa Musa ni wa ukweli Bwana sasa sala worship the Lord your God amen and this God has given you power hallelujah through the one through his word to to uproot and to tear down so there are things you need to write down in your book kumbuka tusema unachora mahali there are things i give you an assignment to go and write down things that you need to uproot in your life in your family in your community uproot things that need to be uprooted this is the assignment for this day see like hata usipomaliza leo angalia tu kwa nyumba yenu kuna mambo lazima ivunjwe bwana siwe sana watu wanakaa na siri za kwao wanakufa na siri za kwao atiusiharibu jamii yetu mnajua jamii yetu ni aki, ni akifahari hii mambo ifai kujulikana usitoi maneno nje hiyo maneno lazima itoke nje you, you are brut amen tunaona mizizi tunaweka chini tunakanyanga bwana siwe sana if that is not done itawasumbua why bwana biblia inasema muti ukikatwa unachipukanga tena usipongolewa na mizizi itamea tena bwana siwe sana am i speaking to somebody here So there are things you need to check in your family that need to be approved in this year and when we come even to prayers there is a day we will deal with those things approve them in the name of Jesus Christ then he says to destroy and to overthrow kingdoms are overthrown is it so you have to overthrow kingdom if there is a kingdom the king must be captured. The Bible says you nobody will get anything from a, a strong man's kingdom unless you bind him. And there are kings that we have to bring down. There are kings that we have to overthrow in the name of Jesus Christ. And when we overthrow, we also destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. What to what you tweaka a responsibility kwa familia yenu. Ya semanga mimi Uh, tulitahiri siku moja na baba yenu na alipokufa aliniambia ni mimi nitasemanga na ile mambo anasemanga ni mambo ya kuharibu those people need to be overthrown in Jesus name now you are grown you can stand with the authority of God and they say this is what i hear my god saying in the name of Jesus Christ well riambiwa tuliambiwa kila mwaka lazima tutaenda kuchonga chongwa tu vitu hapa na baba aliacha hiyo neno now you have grown to know that that is not of god you stand and overthrow that person and they say no 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 there is another god the god of hebrew who says the blood of jesus is enough in jesus name hallelujah and then you stand there and they say no i refuse in the name of jesus christ why because unless you overthrow some people you never speak when they are still in the seat overthrow them and they stand there and they make a decree in the name of jesus christ then to plant and to build to build and to plant then in the same column you write down things that need to be planted in your family in your village in your father's family write down those things because they need to be planted in the name of Jesus Christ the one of the lord came to me what do you see this year see clearly bwana sasa sana see clearly otherwise remember jesus was asked We planted wheat. Now I see tear. What do we do? They expected Jesus to say, "Approve them." Jesus said, "Uh-uh. 
mukienda kungoa saa hii the tear and the wheat look the same ayonekani wait until we are able to see clearly am i speaking somebody and then i pray in the name of jesus the bible says what do you see he said and i see a branch of an almond tree i replied verse 12 the lord said to me you have seen correctly for i am watching to see that my want is fulfilled is that sweet i'm watching you have seen it right and i pray that we see correctly this year because if you can see what god is seeing you get result amen may god help you to see right in jesus name shall we all stand up before god hallelujah thank you lord lift up your hands to jesus just lift up your hands to jesus thank you lord ask the lord to reveal more of who he is in your life and what he intends to do in this year and pray for yourself that the god of israel the lord god of israel will go with you in this year and as we approve some things in your life that you properly be approved and be destroyed in Jesus' name. That your eyes will be able to see right. Because if you can't see it right, you can't speak right. If you can't see it right, you can't approve the right thing. If you can't see it right, you cannot declare the right thing. I pray that your eyes open and your eyes be aligned to see what God is showing us in the name of Jesus Christ. In this year, I declare in Jesus' name that you see great move of God and you see God fight for you, and you see God manifest in your life. Father, I release blessing to these dear ones, and I pray that, Lord, your anointing will go with us, your favor will go with us, and everything that pertains to um, working according to your word, Lord, will be seen in Jesus' name. I pray for every one of us, that, Lord, as we open our mouth, that you will fill us with your word, and this one will do extra only things in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you fill us with that word that says, I am the Lord your God. I am holy, some mean holiness. Lord, you fill us with those words, that one that tells us, I know the plans I have for you. And that Lord will be able to follow the instructions and do the right thing, O oh God, and to hear what you are saying and do exactly that which, Lord, you are telling us to do. I pray that you empower our people. And strengthen the hands of these people to do extraordinary things in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen their mouths, O oh God, to speak what, Lord, you tell them. I pray for bonus in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise and I give you honor. Be lifted, be exalted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We marvel at what you have done in our lives. But we also marvel at what you promised to do in our lives. I thank you, Lord, because you are filling us with your word. And Lord, you are putting this word in our mouth to bring down, to uproot, to destroy. But also I pray that, Lord, you put it that we may plant the ones that you want us to plant in our families. Righteousness and peace, O oh God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that every one of us who hand this word as we leave this place, oh Lord, I speak life, I speak blessing, I speak power. Now when we speak, we speak with authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you and we honor you. For this we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I, I, I still insist, please, when you go, write down the things that need to be uprooted in your family, in your home, in your you know, there are things you can tell. This is not normal. As we begin, let's approve that. Amen? Do you know even some poverty is not normal? Did you know that? Poverty is not normal. Some, some, I mean, it cannot be that in a family, what when is a changa ngirikumi? Ngirikumi mwaka mini wiki muzima. You know that is not normal? That somebody is dying in the house because what it calls a person I can't, in a hospital, can't, can't. We need to break that in Jesus' name. We, we, we also pray for favor to be planted in your homes. I mean, go, go look at it. Write down the things that we want to be planted. Because we are going to have a day to plant in this place. I pray 
that you will have things that you plant in your life and you see them grow and germinate and praise God for that in Jesus name so that is your assignment as you go on please sit down uh, take your seat for a minute in the name of Jesus uh, let's get to our offering basket and get an offering and give to God and honor the Lord in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus uh, if you need a card, lift up your hand. If you need an envelope, lift up your hand. What we do for those who are new uh, is that uh, you, you send your money in this number. And then when you send and you, put the, you write for us the details in the card, it will help us so that we account for it. Uh, in that card, you say what it is, whether it's an offering or tithe. Uh, whether it is a building, whatever it is, make sure that you write it down. And also those of us who pledged, remember when you, if you ever use this number to, to redeem your pledge, please make sure that you note it in the card so that it is taken to the right place. Amen? So, uh, do that. If, yeah, I think that would be good if we can go that direction. Make sure that you write it so that uh, we know how to apportion it in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Jesus is so good. This week, I pray that uh, we love this free time to come. Remember, 6.30, 6.30 in the morning, if you're able to come, we'll be meeting here 6.30 to 7.30. If you are around and you can show up, come for prayers. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 I believe it will be a great time. One is your son. Amen. Speak to your offerings just before we bring it to God the Lord. Speak to it. Give it an assignment. Always don't give without speaking to your offering and giving it an assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand in your presence to receive this tithe and offering on this altar. And I pray that, Lord, as soon as this money lands on this altar, becomes your money and be used for the work of God and never be used for evil in the name of Jesus. And I also pray that, Lord, as many as drop their resources on this altar, Lord, you shall fight for them in Jesus' name. Lord, I bless you and I honor you. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please come, bring your tithe and offering. Uh, stand up. And this other sign, come in Jesus' name. Then uh, after that, you have a seat. I'll give one more announcement. I'll be done. stand up before the Lord. We come to the end of a service. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak blessing to these people as we leave. And so may the Lord bless you. May the Lord watch over you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon your life. May the Lord cause breakthrough to follow you. May supernatural things happen in your life. And there be extraordinary achievement in the year 2021. So I bless you in Jesus' name.
Uh, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.